Hey, welcome back to another one. It's been a while since we've been in the duck shop. So Ella and I keep going down to the creek to see if the crappie are in yet, and they have not been in. So therefore, I haven't been ruling out the cameras. We go down there just put every day and check through the lure around, see what happens. Nothing. Until today. Now you also notice as soon as I get there, I just flip the GoPro on. This intro is recorded after the fact because obviously I didn't think I was going to get any fish, but <laughs> we did. Anyway, enjoy. I'll see you in a minute. That's a little guy. A flare fish? There we go. Not too sure what that is. A uh, large mouth. Folks, the large moth are out of season. That's why we're looking for crappy. We're expecting some rain here in about two, three hours. So I'm hoping they're deciding they're gonna bite. It's been down here a few times and got nothing. So I thought I'd give it a try before I turn the camera on. I got one crappie in the pail, good size. And that one bass, so. All I'm using, guys, is a uh, eighth ounce jig head, a white twister tail. About 18 inches below the bobber. I don't know if you can see that, but the fish went after my bobber. Guys, this creek is loaded with bass. I mean, loaded. But bass season doesn't open until the end of June. Short little twitches. There we go. What do we got? Oh, we can be wrapped up. A little bluegill. He swallowed it. We got one bluegill, one bass, one crappie. I do got a spinner bait that I'll throw for the crappie once in a while. It's a small one. Problem is you can't keep, well, call it a problem, but you can't keep the bass off it. There's another one biting on it. And we got them. I don't know what it is. Another bluegill. He'll keep. A little stumble there was just me just about going on my ass in the water. Wind and light tackles making it hard to keep the line out of the trees. So there are four pound largemouth in here. If you guys see that turtle. go oh uh, 
uh, whatever that was had some teeth, he took my tail. That's all I'm using guys. I got an eighth ounce jig with a small white twister tail. That's it. There you go. And we got them. Let's see what we got. That's a little guy. A flare fish? I don't think he's the one that bit my tail off here. So it's uh, one crappie, two bluegill, three bass. A lot of traffic down here today. The crappie should be moving in here. Oh, that's no good. I'm guessing as soon as the uh, water temp warms up just a little bit, they'll be moving in. Catch ones and twos, but you're not catching them like we normally do with 12 or 15 good ones. Hi, Al. I just lost one, Ellie. Aww. He's on it now, but... Oh, missed him again. There we go. Yep. Is it what we're looking for? Nope, he's not what we're looking for. What is this? Tiny bass? Another small bass. I, was, I don't know, just some people that want to talk about fishing. I'll get another one on here, you're going to bring him in, KL. Okay. Come here, Al. The caught one? Yep. Yeah. Can, can you just stand right here? Ain't got, ain't, got a, ain't got a whole lot of string. Here, let me get another one on here in a second. That's called a bluegill. He's just a little fella. Do we need him? Well, yep, yeah, but uh, he's too small. Try and get you hooked up on one here, okay? Okay. Come here, Ella. What? Come and get him. I don't. Oh, he's he's real close here now, though. Oh, honey, he's got us on a rock. Hang on, Bubba. Hang on. Dad, the fishies are going crazy. He's got us on a log, Ella. Oh, no. I'm going to check on the fish. They're going crazy. All right, I got him out. Fishy. Is it one with... Yeah, we're going to keep him. Oh, yeah, we're keeping him on. Isn't that... What is that? It's a bluegill. He got us tied on a log there. I thought we were going to lose him. Bad fish. Well. A small bass. Lots of small fish in here right now. Go home and get shorts on. <sighs> Told ya. Long pants. See, I just had to pull them up. I just pulled them up. Now I'm pulling up the second. Here, Al. Come real man. Yes. I look ridiculous. 
There you go. I think it's gonna be another bass. So, got him. Yeah. Yep. I'll bring him. Up. Hang on. Hang on. That's three for you. Okay, I just threw it back. Here, I'll get you another one. They're that easy. Dark color. Yeah, that's the crappy. And the other bluegill? Yeah. All right, let's go home. Alright folks, sorry about the wind. We made it back home. Kind of a mixed bag today. We kept one crappie and I think three or four bluegill because I've never ate bluegill before. But we're going to knock the sides off these things and then we're going to cook them up. Do the bubbles make it's your crappy. back? Do, your back? Do the bubbles make your background look any cooler? We need about ten more of these. Ten more. Alright, so I'm not going to bore you with the cleaning the rest of these things. Are you just going to make sure you go over the rib cage and cut out the little pin bones that are in the middle there. So I'm going to clean the other three up here and we'll get them in some oil. Hey guys, normally you would scale these. I don't want scales everywhere, so I'm going to skin them. You'll lose a little bit of meat doing that, but it is what it is. We didn't do too bad. As you can see, some bluegill and a crappie. The water's gotta warm up a little bit. The weather's gotta be a little more consistent and then the crappie will be thick in there, but they're not gonna stay there long. Now I also said that uh, I was gonna cook them. When I got done cleaning them, there wasn't really enough there for me to warrant heating up the oil. Uh, was my knife big enough? I, I think it was plenty big enough. We finally got some fishing in, but we gotta do some more. Uh, the weather's getting better and that's exactly what we're hoping for. I'm hoping to hit the Detroit River and get some walleye fishing in from shore. Uh, I'm not keen on taking my kayak out there, but you'll see that coming soon enough. But anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Hey, if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button. I would appreciate it very much. And I'll see you on the next one. Later.